That's what this is about. Can't tell you. So what's happening here? So, just come in, technically. Just come in. Yeah, just came in on just Friday. Came, just, came, just came in a week ago. <laughs> we grabbed a uh, GoPro Fusion for 360 videos coming up. It's busted out. Psych, it's for the vlog. The entire vlog will be in 360. <laughs> What's fresh? You're at B. One, two. I remember watching a video on this. The lenses don't line up from the top. Oh. I don't know why that is. There's some reason for it. Also comes with two SD cards, one per lens. Thanks, GoPro. Oh, I'm excited. Little tripod. And Interesting. Also, I'll Telescoping. Ah, a police baton. couple of seconds in the vlog um, we're going to be using it on a shoot which um jacob did a, a recce for two vlogs ago hmm. is that right yeah yeah, yeah. So and now we're there fell off oh it's not top secret well i guess it isn't top secret anymore yeah. we're about to reveal it how fitting Within this case, we have a virtual reality 360 degree rig that we've built. Yeah, POV rig. It goes on in person as such. Camera mounts here like that. The challenges we faced with this was if you have it on top of the person's head, the perspective is too high. Um, Especially with me being so tall. Monstrously, on the in fact. Chest, then it's, the perspective is, is too low. So. so we found a middle ground solution. Yep. Pretty much exactly in front of the eye line. It's all very new technology, so all these things you have to sort of build yourself. This is the Wild West. Beautiful. New profile picture. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Take a seat for me, mate. Yeah. Sure. Dude, you can look up. <laughs> That's yeah, great. So isn't it's it? very cool. Awesome. Um, but yeah, if you look, if you turn right around, Hello. you can see Luke. <laughs> We're gonna restrict that so the person the person can't do that. I can I can move around and Wow and look around, I can look down there. to give me a general idea what the post of this will look like? The workflow is relatively simple, if not time consuming. The GoPro actually records two different files, so it's essentially two cameras. If you look at the files themselves, they will just look like a big circle, very fisheye distorted, and then you load it into the software that uh, comes with the Fusion, and it stitches it together into what's called an equi rectangular file, so it stretches it all as into a basically a box. And that's what you put into your editing program to actually edit it. We just need to move um, everything out of the way because it is 360. Yep. We can see everything. So, so we'll go hide it around a yeah. corner somewhere. So the key to this is limited cuts, yeah? It is, yeah. It's all it's all one big take, so you have to make sure everything is like, you know, ready to go. Mm. In the business we call it a one of <laughs> so pumped up, there's a lot of energy. It's really cool, but the shoot's going really well, get some sick shots. Wrap, hey. all done. Put all we needed. Mm -hmm. It's getting dark, so just in time. Yep. How do you reckon it went, Nicholas? Well, I was a big fan. We got some cool shots. Whenever you, whenever we filmed, uh, people at gyms are exercising. There's a lot of movement, so it makes a gives a lot of interest. So. Yeah. yeah. Got to get some pretty sick, uh, especially I think the low shots on the gimbals turn out really well. Hmm. And uh, should be a good product. Yeah. Lots of nice dynamic shots. Um, yeah. People screaming. People screaming. 
get amongst it. Get amongst it. <laughs> Good screaming. Get pumped. Extra, extra level of shooting. Normally we have to find a place to be out of the way, but we have to be so far out oh, of the way. Oh, we have to get out of the country for this. Yeah. Because there's nowhere to escape. So we are around the corner, away from any conceivable perspective. Yes. Essentially. And action. It's all looking good. It's looking smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can actually go in now. Yep. Door closed. Let's see what's going on. And I assume this ends when she hits the door. Well done! You did it! <laughs> so take this one off. Mission accomplished. Full first shot done. Well, yeah. Lots <laughs> to go. So we have now taken off the POV mount. Mm -hmm. Our nifty little thing. And adding it to the selfie stick uh, for the rest of the shots because it's going to be the perspective, I guess, of the blood sample. So it'll be like being carried and placed in the fridge, go to the centrifuge, or all, all the other blood sample things that happen. <laughs> So uh, we're moving to our next location, which requires us a pack down. Slightly easier than our usual kit because it's so bulky. Added difficulty is everything's so small, you want to make sure you don't lose anything. Is that helping? It's the charging dance. The charging dance? It increases connectivity. So we have our big portable charger. Yeah, the big sucker. Yeah. It is 20,000 milliamps. Wow. And we're going to need it because the GoPro chews through battery like nothing she, else. She, she hungry. It's a hungry, hungry. beast. <laughs> And we're using it practically all day, so... Still in the fridge? So we're about to go for the curry a bit, pulling it out of the car, yeah? Yes, we're, um, so we're currently in the fridge, mm -hmm. in the car. So we're about to jump out and head up to the lab. Okay, so when we call action, go for it. So we're hiding because we don't want to be seen by the virtual reality camera. And it sees everything. <laughs> so double check the settings, mm -hmm. 5.2K at 25 frames a second. Gorgeous. Good to go. And action. And right. so should be safe to stand up now. Yep, just curve around the corner. We can't get in. No, we looked out. I looked out, but it doesn't matter because the camera's rolling and it's doing its thing, so mm -hmm. we're all good. Essentially, we will catch up, cut it, review it, we'll see how it went. We'll footage after this take. Okay, and nice and smooth, go for it. 